Well, I'd never been to West Point before. Um, this past year, we were in the Super Regionals at Boston College, and uh, West Point called and asked me to come down for a visit, and was absolutely bro you know blown away by you know how, how gorgeous it was and the facilities and the people, and you know luckily um, the leadership here asked me to um, to join, and um, you know I think the the best thing about it is. Um, the ceiling I think it has. You know, I think this place has a high, high ceiling. I think we can be a very, very good program and, and the type of kids I'm working with, you know, the type of kids that we get to work with every day, it doesn't get any better, you know, and um, it's really a dream job for a coach. And, and then the most important thing is the family. You know, it was, it, was, it was a nice spot for my family. I have four little ones and, um, you know, they're very happy. So we're glad we did it. Well, the effort's there, you know, and, and you have everything here that you need to, to be successful. You know, they, they, uh, they want to be good. They just uh, have to be, be shown how to play baseball, you know. Um, there's talent, there's effort, but we've got to put together the, uh, the intangibles. The, they're very raw, and they just need to be shown how to play the game and, and uh, how to think and how to go about their business. And it's not easy, but... It's, uh, it's very rewarding because they're smart kids, they're locked in, they care. And really, as a coach, that's all you can ask for. What? Well, I want to see athleticism. I want to see guys that love the game. You know, you don't have to be, you know, have the prettiest swing. You don't have to have, you know, a 6'3", 225-pound body. Um, but we're looking for guys who can just flat out play. You know, guys that love the game, want to get better, want to play it at the highest level possible, and um, you know, also do really good in school and, and uh, be part of the military and, and serve their country. Number one is my dad, you know, number one. He was there for me every single day. And uh, you know, I learned to love the game watching him and following him around. And then um, just having him there every day for me and supporting me. Um, other than that, I had uh, Tony Guzzo, who's one of the best catching coaches in the country. Um, Longtime coach at NC State, Old Dominion, Virginia Commonwealth. I also had uh, Andy Echebarren with the Orioles. Andy was uh, instrumental in teaching me how to, uh, how to play the position and be a pro. You know, he worked with me every single day in rookie ball and uh, really showed me the ropes. Anything that is athletic um, and teaches them something when they really don't have to think about it. You know, I don't like overcoaching kids with drills. Um, I like drills that uh, kids have to do multiple things at once, but if I had to uh, pick a, a certain drill, I'd say the drills we do with the catchers, the blocking drills we do with the catchers are my favorite. I want kids that, um, like I said earlier, love the game, um, play the game free and fast. Um, I, don't, I don't want guys that are uptight or um, go out there and get in their own way. You know, I want guys that can run, guys who can put pressure on the defense, guys who can, who can uh, you know, make the plays defensively and, and um, you know, can, can do a lot of different things to beat the other team. You know, that's, that's the, the type of team I want on the field. Um, off the field, just kids that, that, you know, I don't have to babysit in the classroom or kids that um, do the wrong thing off the field. And, um, you know, I want guys to support each other that, that really care about each other, you know, genuinely care about each other. And um, when you have that, you can do some amazing things. The sky's the limit, and um, I think we got a chance to be um, a really good program in the future.